Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your chances of landing that first machine learning job by taking the sniper approach. Sniper approach can be summarized in five points. So let's get started. Point number one, look for jobs in the industry that you are most familiar with. Let me ask you this question. What makes a good data scientist? The answer isn't advanced Python skills or a PhD in statistics. The answer is being able to spot patterns in data by asking the right questions. In other words, a good data scientist understands the industry that is relating to the data that he's working on. Every single industry needs data scientists. It's not just tech giants like Facebook or Amazon. It's supermarkets, hospitals, marketing agencies. If you have some work experience in any specific industry or you happen to have an understanding of a specific industry, then apply for data science jobs within that industry. In your interview, you'll be able to impress your potential employer with your industry insights, and that will be even more important than your great Python skills. Point number two, think about the industry that you are most familiar with and think about how would they apply machine learning. Machine learning can be divided into three main applications. Object recognition, natural language processing, and time series prediction. And when you think about it, whether a company uses object recognition or time series analysis, it depends on the industry that the company is operating in. For example, financial institutions might be more likely to do time series prediction given the nature of the financial data. Medical startups might work on medical image recognition, which is a type of object recognition. Marketing agencies might employ NLP, natural language processing, to detect, say, sentiment from a written text. Think about the industry that you are most familiar with. How are they applying machine learning? And once you have the answer, let's move on to number three. Double down on that machine learning application. All right, if you want to work in a bank, no one's gonna care about image recognition, right? So focus all your efforts on becoming as good as you can in one particular application of machine learning. Read tutorials, learn some theory, Open a GitHub account, build a few projects. This point is all about, you know, gearing up, having the resources, having the knowledge, accumulating all that backup, all that resources that you need to showcase in your interview. And once you feel ready to start applying to jobs, let's move on to point number four. Be realistic about applications. Okay, it all boils down to reading the job description. So let's have a look at two random job descriptions that I've just found on LinkedIn. Okay, this one is from Exceed. Who are they? Okay, effective intro. Um, they are a recruitment company. All right, so the first red flag is mid senior level requirements, experience with ML libraries, that's fine. But look, they want MSc or PhD in computer science. If this is your first job in machine learning and you don't have all these degrees, I would say don't bother. So are we doomed? Maybe not. Let's have a look at another job opening. So this is from Alien Pay. Who are they? Next generation payment platform. Okay. A fintech company. Seniority level, entry level. Okay. Mm -hmm. The ideal candidate will be passionate. Okay. Responsibilities, skills. TensorFlow or Keras, Python, Scikit-Learn, Pandas, that's it. Look, if I was interested in the finance industry and this was something I was geared up for, I would 100% apply for this job opening because here I think my chances are quite high. And speaking of applications, this takes us to point number five, tailor your CV for each job opening. Do some social engineering, get into recruiter's head. Every job calls for a slightly different set of skills. When an employer is sifting through hundreds of applications, what is going to make their heart jump? What is going to touch them? It is if your CV looks like it was just made for this job, like you are the perfect candidate. So you have to put signs everywhere. Don't just put TensorFlow under skill section. That is not going to do the job. Read the job description carefully. 
For example, let's take our alien pay. They say you will lead all the processes from data collection, cleaning and pre-processing to training models and deploying them to production. Great. Now, paraphrase that and put that on your CV and do that with most of the points under responsibilities section. Of course, don't lie. If you didn't do something, then don't say you did. However, if you did do something cool, then make sure you make it abundantly clear. Does it take a lot of effort? Hell yeah! Sniper approach does take a lot of effort. But I guarantee you, all good things in life do. So if this is what you really want, then follow the sniper approach and you will end up with your dream job. If you like the sniper approach, please give it a thumbs up. But before you go, I have a bonus point six. If everything fails, try data science consultancies. I would say it is a last resort kind of solution. However, let me just explain what data science consultancies do. So data science consultancies hire smart people, train them up, equip them with all the data science skills, they pay for these people's training, and then they place them with a client. When you're placed with a client, you are obviously getting exposure to the real data science work. And of course, you get paid for that. Sounds great, but there are a few cons. Well, first of all, you will get paid much less than you are worth because obviously the consultancy needs to make money on you. So they will charge the client more and then pay you less. Second of all, you are tied with a contract. It might be a one year contract or a two year contract. And if you want to um, go, you will have to pay for the cost of your initial training, which will be a couple of thousand dollars or pounds. So you're effectively tied for a year or two uh, to stay with that client and with that consultancy. So if you really think you can't follow through the sniper approach, it takes too much effort, then you know data consultancies might be the solution for you. In the UK, I know the consultancy called Kubrick. And if you know of any other ones in the UK or any other country, please let me know. I'd be very curious to read about them and their conditions. I will be releasing more content on this topic, so please hit the subscribe button because I don't want you to miss it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.